All right, well, we watched her grow up on the Facts of Life, survive Survivor, and now she's taking on a new challenge that is hosting. Here to talk about her new show called Collector's Call, please welcome Lisa Welchel. Hello there. Good morning, Hello. Lisa. Good morning. Before we talk Collector's Call, Okay. So this year will mark the 40th anniversary. Yes. Of wow. 40th anniversary wow. that it premiered. That means 40 years ago I had a crush on you. Oh. <laughs> and I <laughs> said to you when you sat down, I cannot, you look so good. You look the same. Well, yeah. thank you. Thank you. And and it, it's all about the jeans. And it's not the mom jeans. Right. It, uh, well, actually, it is about my mom's jeans. <laughs> Would you ever be open to a reboot? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> sure. I had she a great stay time. in touch with figured, the girls. We, get that we do. We hang. We hang out whenever we're in the same city, and we talk on the phone. And now uh, Nancy McKeon finally joined social media after okay. forever <laughs> staying off. So now we are able to. I mean, just like everybody else, mm -hmm. there's you know you kind of keep in touch with each other that way the most easily. Yeah. Awesome. All right. Well, now let's uh, chat a little collector's call. Okay. Th this is a show where you introduced you introduce uh, viewers to collectors who have. The biggest pop culture memorabilia? You know what? A lot of pop culture, but there's also like uh, last week's show was a, a man who had presidential history. And so he like had locks of hair from George oh Washington, my. Abraham Lincoln, what? John Kennedy. I know. He also had like the, the a mold from Tom Cruise from the vampire movie. So mm -hmm. very eclectic collection. And, and you assign a value to these objects? Well, we do bring an appraiser who does, you know, give the, the value. But they also, the kind of the twist is they bring an item that's been on the, the collector's kind of wish list and then they have to make a trade and it's really interesting to see because every single one of these items no matter how many they have and like this next week Sunday night show is a Winnie the Pooh collection where she has the Guinness Book of World Records she bought the house next door to because she outgrew her oh, two-story house with Winnie the Pooh goodness. so yes so she has a whole house of poo uh, <laughs> next door. <laughs> so are all these items, do they all have a known value to them? Or are they, are, I mean, like, are these items vetted before? Yes, absolutely. Okay. They, and I found, I learned the new word. It's the, the, the provenance. Mm. So gotcha. they can verify that this was actually George Washington's hair. Don't know how they can do that. <laughs> Apparently they do. Wow, did it come with a little curl? Uh, yeah, no, no. <laughs> Maybe that's why they wore wigs back then. Right. <laughs> Cutting off their hair. I, I believe we have a clip. Let's, uh, let's take a look. What makes it so rare? When this came out, it retailed for about $15 in 1938 and 1939. So not many people were willing to pay $15 back at the edge of World War II and right after the Great Depression. So JP, have you ever seen one of these? I have not. The one thing I'm noticing is the tag is on it. When you have the doll itself being so unique and so rare, and then having the tag that go with it, that shoots it in the stratosphere. Where wow. in the stratosphere would wow. you the, na land on a number for oh this? Oh my, I would say a collector with the, their money would pay about 40 to 60 grand for it. Oh. <laughs> wow. 40 to 60 grand. That's great. Yeah, so many unique items. These, and I don't know where, these collectors, it's a full-time job. I mean, they are yeah. uh, on the internet, and before that, they've got their community, and so the thing, the items that they have, and that's part of the reason why it's difficult for them to make the trade, because everything has a story. Mm. Every collector, as we drill down into it, I'm a life coach now, and so what I'm mostly enjoying is interviewing the collectors and finding out, like, wh why? who why? does this? <laughs> and why <laughs> and it's usually tied back to their childhood uh -huh, something uh -huh. and so every piece is it taps into that little spot in their heart and so it's hard to let go yeah that's cool wow Great lisa welchel thank you so much for my coming pleasure in. this is fun don't forget collector's call airs uh sunday nights uh 10 p.m on me tv on me tv yes thanks, thanks. Right. my thank pleasure you.